Dear civil engineers, you know, till our previous lecture, I have just applied it load on our basement all, I mean soil pressure on our basement all and I have also shown you that how we calculate that by manually or by Excel. So that link are given in description, I mean our full complete playlist are given in this description so if you want to learn our previous lecture then you can go there. Now in this lecture we just have to do two things and after that we'll go for analysis. So what we'll do actually, first of all we'll ap apply our wind load and then our earthquake load when it will be okay after that we'll go for our next work okay okay so now first of all i'll just go here define and i'll go here our load pattern and already i have predefined our two load case eqx eqy and wx and wy so here for earthquake and here for wind the two are for wind and the two for earthquake now so first of all if we assign our earthquake load okay if we assign our earthquake load now what will be we'll just justify that so to assign or to define our earthquake load for x direction here for x direction and previously already i have shown you that how we'll add that so if you're new here you can watch our previous lecture now i'll just go click here modify lateral loads otherwise simply just you have to give a name from here you have to select which types of load you are uh, taking seismic and from here you have to select the code design code i mean for which code you want to work so here many codes are available you can sorry you can work with that and after that simply click here add new load it will be done now i'll select that one and after that i'll go modify okay so when i mean modify so for x direction first of all for x direction eqx i'll select the three load x direction eccentricity of x and eccentricity uh, plus eccentricity and minus eccentricity of x and here 0 0.05 okay this is the eccentric ratio for all there from 0 0.05 it's done and after that they have three options so if you are from usa if you're from usa then you have to select the first two option by using your zip code or by using your uh, latitude or longitude you can find out your data but if you're outside of us okay so as i'm outside outside of us so i, have to, I will use that option and i will provide that data manually so from which point to which point from base to terrace our load will be applied it now in for to calculate that data i will use a simple excel sheet uh, wind load and earthquake load so for earthquake wind, earthquake load analysis and i'll just go here so this is our a simple excel sheet and uh, also if you just go here if you just go here you can change that value Okay, very easily you can change that value. So when we need data only for software and as per that data, okay, so from here we can also find out data. Just see ASC 705 or 710. With respect to 705 and 710, we can uh, take the data what we need for our ETAPs. Now from here, what is the height of building? And if you need manual calculation, then you can use that purpose uh, first four option, otherwise no need. Okay otherwise we'll take just that value in yellow box so what is the height of a structure i'll go here i'll close that i'll also close that okay i'll right click and i'll go add or modify and i'll click here just see here our total height are 74 i'll just close that i'll close that and here so our total height is 74 feet now soil type so which types of soil are available so actually this is for my country okay i have generated that excel sheet for my country with respect to all of data from our design codes okay i have taken all of data and i have just arranged here very simply so if you need to modify that data as per your country or as per your country data as per ASCE code then you can contact me directly that link are given in description i will modify that for your country after that here 
okay so here sd and if you need that excel file that link are also given in description to after uh, going our website you are able to do that okay so when it's done after that what we'll do we'll just go for our next work and what do we actually so from here soil type first of all we'll find out our soil type so which types of soil i mean on which types of soil we are creating our structure or building from here i'll select actually um, we have to find out that type so i'm randomly selecting sc soil type and from here uh, zone or town actually uh, for your case you can also provide here the value okay so value for zone coefficient here i'm using um, value for 0 0.36 if i select a region from my country okay if i select a region from my country then i can do it okay so what will do actually uh, after that simply we have to change your occupancy category so from here simply we'll change your occupancy category from here that's it so if i consider as this is a residential structure so i'll consider occupancy category one and two you will get that information from your code okay i mean asc code as i'm designing or i mean taking wind load or earthquake load as per asc code so that's why i'm just taking that value after that okay i'll consider that one because this is the most okay i'll consider that zone so this okay now from here which type of, which types of structure we are taking so moment resting frame system no shadow but in this structure i am taking shadow so what will do that uh, dual system special moment testing frame and from here i'll select two steps of a structure actually so i'll take it ordinary reinforced concrete shadow okay So I'll select that one and after that here what is the damping ratio so there are many value of damping ratio but will not take less than five percent okay and here a structure type this is steel structure or concrete st structure or what actually so cm cmrf cm rf uh, smrf so cmrf means concrete moment resting frame so I'll select that one that's okay our work have completed and now from here we'll get our data simply i'll take the data and input in our model i'll just open our model i'll just go here define and so move it little bit here okay now i'll just go here define then i'll just go load pattern seismic force for x direction and from here everything is okay now what will be the value of ss the value of ss 0. Point here 0 0.3 0 0.3 and value of s1 0 0.12 this is already defined the long period tr uh, transition period so that is two second and for side class okay so to define actually as per ac code you can select one of that but if you need to define that manually then we have to select f and after that f a value of f a 1.15 and value of f b 1.725 seven that's it after that i'll click and after that uh, what is the response modification factor r so for response modification factor that is 5 and cd 
what is the value of cd 4.5 and then value of omega 3 Now, occupancy importance so here we'll get that our occupancy importance factor 1 so this is 1 that's okay and what is the value of t we'll get that value 0 0.770 that's it clear now i'll simply click ok and again i'll click q x y and uh, for y i'll select that three and from here this is okay this is okay and this is also okay and for f I'll consider 0 0.15 and that will be 7 to 5 okay so that will be 7 to 5 and after that in that side what is the response manipulation factor 5 and then omega that is 3 and cd 4.5 and importance factor 1 and from base to terrace and that will be 0 0.770 that's it after that i'll simply click ok then okay so this is the way to assign our wheel load actually okay in this way simply we can assign our wheel load. now what we'll do actually we'll we have to assign or define our earthquake load okay so what will oh, sorry wheel load but before that what we'll do i'll just show you that how we'll assign our diaphragm so this is the most important so I'll right click and show all object so here is our model after that I'll go here I will hide our local axis then apply also I'll hide our section value okay so then okay now what we'll do actually I'll just now i'll provide our that value so i mean our i'll just go top for our terrace so from terrace i will start defining our diaphragm so to define diaphragm i'll just go here assign i'll go shell and from shell i'll go diaphragms so here already a diaphragm have been select defined d1 i'll just click modify and I'll also click modify. So, which type of rigidity? Rigid or semi rigid? So, I'll select rigidity, rigid, because uh, rigid and semi rigid that depend on when we'll use that on. Okay. So, first in that time, I'll select rigid, then I'll click OK. I'll click OK. So, when it's OK, now we have to select our that frame. Now, you have to understand a simple thing that when you will select your that history like that so all of that plane will be selected till your below story okay so see it has also column have been selected but what do we know that our diaphragm is a horizontal plane surface so what do we have to do i'll just click skip so i'll select that i'll just go ahead select i'll go select i'll go coordinate specification and i'll select click joint in xy plane and i'll click here just see only that xy plane have been selected and simply i'll click apply you see our that if i just go here our the diaphragm have been selected or provided now again if i go bottom okay uh, also what i can do that by selecting that i can go here and after that i can go diaphragm extend for that one, i can select apply for that on apply and then okay so here you can see that our diaphragm extend are showing now for the this floor same select select and i'll just go property okay. coordinate specification and click joint in x plane after that i'll select here just see only that floor have been selected and i'll go apply okay so this okay and again i'll go down so in this way actually in this way i will provide diaphragm from top to bottom okay
just see in our every story i have just applied it our diaphragm so in this way we can apply our diaphragm without any problem or without any worrying so in our next lecture i'm just going to show that how we'll assign our wind load perfectly thank you thank you very much s12 is to connect it to the next video and if you want to support us then you can support us by joining our channel so thank you thank you very much